rapping about murdering his girlfriend and calling people fags doesn't sell as many records, Eminem has devised a fresh, original, truly original way to resonate with his audience. Call Donald Trump a racist! Racism's the only thing he's fantastic for! So edgy! Literally no other celebrity has said that about Trump. Trump, the same guy that the hip-hop community adored for decades. Oh, don't take my word for it. Here's the Huffington Post explaining how, before 2015, Trump was praised in no less than 67 major hip-hop songs. Rappers love Donald Trump. Split swishers with my thumb, get money like Donald Trump. I might pull a rack and get ratchet, but I'll be Donald Trump in these hoes. I made a million on the corner going down the Trump notes. Donald Trump taking dollars from y'all. That Bill Gates, Donald Trump, Bloomberg money. But as soon as Trump started taking on the Democratic establishment, he suddenly became a racist and rappers started attacking him. Isn't that an amazing coincidence? But wait, let's give Eminem a chance. He's a great lyricist. Surely he's gonna bring something new, something different, something captivating. Surely he's not just gonna call Donald Trump orange. And he's orange. <laughs> This racist 94 year old grandpa! Yeah, maybe you should check into Trump's racist past, Marshall, because he probably hung around with even more black people than you did. The Clintons destroyed black families. Super predators. While Trump at least has a plan to rebuild the inner cities, including your hometown of Detroit. Oh, but Trump's the racist. But we better give Obama props, because what we got in office now's a kamikaze that'll probably cause a nuclear holocaust. No, Marshall, the person who wanted a nuclear holocaust was Hillary Clinton. I want the Iranians to know that if I'm the president, we will attack Iran. You know, the person you cussed out 18 years ago when you were actually relevant. You know, the 90s, when you were somewhat counterculture. Unlike now, when you couldn't have your tongue more firmly jammed up the ass of the establishment. Oh, I'm sorry, Eminem's leading the resistance. That's why every corporate media outlet is creaming their pants over his tantrum. What exactly are you resisting? The Democratic establishment hates Trump. The Republican establishment hates Trump. The media hates Trump. Academia hates Trump. Hollywood hates Trump. The TV industry hates Trump. Oh, but you're so controversial for pushing the very same talking points that they do, and then being rewarded for it by those very same industries. So brave! You can't be the dominant culture and the counterculture at the same time. That's not how it works. And you want to give Obama props. We better give Obama props. Yeah, where was your anti-war rage when Obama was simultaneously bombing seven different countries? I guess criticizing a black president just doesn't make commercial sense, does it? But I'm sure that Eminem's rage is all spontaneous, heartfelt, and genuine. I'm sure it has nothing whatsoever to do with him having a record coming out soon. I mean, it's not like he's literally got a new album coming out next month, is it? Oh look, he does! Well, imagine my shock. Eminem, you're not edgy. You're not counterculture. You're a 44-year-old has-been who's completely run out of creative ideas. Your recent albums were panned by the critics, so now you're trying to ingratiate yourself by glomming onto the fake anti-Trump resistance. By resorting to the most cringeworthy, unoriginal, boring, virtue signaling crap imaginable. What a total fucking sellout. You made your name by lampooning mindless, safe, dull pop culture. Now you're genuflecting in a desperate effort to become a central part of that same vapid pop culture. How pathetically sad. You can hang out in as many multi-story car parks as you like. Not gonna change the fact that you're a cum bucket for the corporate machine. You've got the nerve to stand there with your 200 million dollar net worth and claim to be some kind of voice of the people while putting on a fake southern accent to smear millions of ordinary Americans. He's gonna get rid of all immigrants! Who voted for Trump because eight years of Obama's economic hate crimes left them dead broke. He's gonna get rid of all immigrants! Fuck you, you little prick! That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Should I drop it on Donald Trump? Probably not. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Should I drop it on Donald Trump? Probably not. The fuck is that? That's just objectively terrible. That's bad. I mean, go back to being a drug addict if it helps. Do something, Eminem, because this is just fucking painful. When your lyrics sound like they were written by Keith Olbermann, it's probably time to retire. Scum! 
Russian scum! We love our military. Don't try and hide behind the military to give your temper tantrum some kind of moral backing. In the key swing states, the military voted two to one for Trump. Oh, and your little Colin Kaepernick shout out. This is for Colin, ball up a fist. You know the guy, the one who literally supports communist dictators. Yeah, that's not really gonna go down well with the US military either, is it? You stupid moron. And any fan of mine who's a supporter of his, I'm drawing in the sand a line. You. Yeah, you drew a line in the sand years ago, Marshall. A line that said, I'm no longer authentic, daring, or counterculture. I'm a washed up, whiny, middle aged cock holster to be used as a political mouthpiece for the establishment. Because my balls have shrunk so much, they've literally retreated back into my lower abdomen. That was your line in the sand, Eminem, and there's no going back. Hey, Trump! Hey, Trump! Hey, Trump! Hey, Trump! Please click the big red button to subscribe, it really helps me when you do that, and click the bell to allow notifications so you never miss a new video.